Hello artists, this is Miss Chong. Today I'm going to show you how to draw an ice cream cone with lines. So what you're going to need today is either some paint, crayons, or markers, whatever you have. I'm going to be doing this with, a, with paint, so I'm going to be showing you how to do it that way, but feel free to follow with other materials. You'll also need a pencil, a sharpie or a black marker, a piece of paper, a cup with water, and your paintbrushes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two vertical lines. So those are lines that go up and down and we want to do that in the middle of your paper. You don't want to make them too big or you don't want to make them too small because remember we want to fill up our paper and we want to we don't want to make it super tiny. We want it to make it to where it can fit the page. And then after that, we're going to draw a horizontal line at the top and one at the bottom. So it doesn't have to be straight or perfect. It could have a little bit of a curve to it. That'll be okay. You want to make sure you're also drawing lightly. So just in case you do any make mistakes, it's easier for you to erase. So if you press hard on your pencil, it'll be harder for you to erase that mark. So you want to make sure you're being very gentle with your pencil. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw two more vertical lines coming down from this um, rectangular shape that we did. So we're going to draw that line. We're going to make it just slightly diagonal, okay? So it's not completely straight. It has a little bit of a, a bend to it where it's a little bit slanted. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, but it's going to come from this way. So it's going to be diagonal going that way. And then we're going to close it off with a curve, the line at the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this organic curvy shape for the first layer of our ice cream. So we're just going to start right here and just make a curvy line that kind of dips and then come back and then it closes off over here. And then we want to make a curvy hill shape that goes up and it's not going to be perfect. It's going to have some bumps to it because if you think about what ice cream look like, looks like, it's not a perfect curve. It has those little indents in it. And then what you are going to do now is you are going to pick some lines that you want to draw in your ice cream. So what I'm going to pick here is I'm going to do some wavy lines in my ice cream. But you can do zigzag or any other kind of lines that you wish. And then in here, I think I'm going to do some zigzag lines. So remember, you can do any line that you want to. Okay. And then I think inside my ice cream, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a combination of dashed lines and straight horizontal. Okay. And then for my ice cream cone, in order to make it look more like an ice cream cone, I think I'm just going to do lines that go vertical. and then horizontal so that it makes this checkerboard pattern here. Okay, now the next step you want to do is you want to grab your Sharpie or your black marker and trace over everything you just drew. You want to make sure you're nice and gentle and slow that way you don't make any mess ups. If you do, it's okay. But to avoid that, just go as slowly as you can. There's no rush.
Okay, now after you've traced, if there's any extra lines that are coming out from your pencil marks, you can go back and erase those just so that they are gone. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to start to paint. So um, if you want to paint your background, you can do that. I think I'm going to do that just to give it some more color. So if you have a big brush at home, you can use a big brush to cover the background because it'll make it a lot easier and it'll make it a lot, go by a lot faster. But if you don't, then that's okay. Or if you decide you want to use... Um, a mixture of different materials so you want to use marker for the background and then use paint for the ice cream cone or crayons you can do that too so i'm going to do a technique called gradient where i'm going to make it lighter the closer closer to the ice cream cone and then darker amongst the edge of the pages so i'm going to start off with um orange as the middle color and then I'll do yellow and then red along the outside. If you want to do that too with um, other colors, you can do that too. So some colors that would also go together would be green, blue, and purple. So you would pick what color is the lightest and then the second lightest and then the darkest to go from light, middle, dark for your gradient. And remember, you don't want to use too much water because then it'll take a really long time for your paper to dry. And usually when you use too much water with water watercolors, the paint is super watery and you don't get that much of the color in there. So try to find the right balance of water and paint. Usually you don't need too much water with this paint. I think I use a little bit too much water here, so it might take a little bit longer to dry, but that's okay. Okay, so you might want to let your paper dry just a little bit. That way, if you want to put your hand on your paper to make it easier for you to paint, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to begin painting my ice cream cone. So my ice cream cone is going to be, I'm going to make some orange and some brown to make it look more um, like a light brown for the cone. And there you have it. You have your very own ice cream cone with different lines. If you want to go back and add in sprinkles, you can do that. I'm going to do that with mine. I'm just going to draw little dashed lines around my painting for some sprinkles. And once you're done, don't forget to take a picture and post your assignment on our Teams page. I uploaded a video on how you can upload a picture, but if you have any questions, please just ask me and I'll be more than happy to help you. I hope you guys enjoyed making your ice cream cone. I'll see you next time.